Hi, I'm Jeanette Womble with eXp Realty, and I wanted to talk to you today about winning multiple offers and the things that you can do to be a step ahead of the competition. In Columbia, South Carolina, as it is in a lot of other parts of the country, the market is still crazy. And the reason why is because we have a shortage of homes for sale. And while we're in a low inventory market, it is going to continue to be a seller's market. So how do you win a multiple offer? This past year, I've had a great track record of winning many multiple offers, and I've coined myself a house chaser. There are about four things that I've noticed consistently to help my clients to win their multiple offers, and I'd like to share them with you today, so that way you have a little bit more insight as to what it takes to get your next home. One of the most important things for you when you're looking to have a successful experience when you're buying your next home is to work with an agent that has great relationships with the other agents in the market. I can't tell you how many times I've been able to win multiple offers this past year simply because I had wonderful communication, past experience with an agent, and they were able to guide me to the steps that I needed to share with my clients to help them to be more competitive. Certainly everything has to be held in confidence. However, with another agent that has a great experience base with your realtor, you can definitely get a competitive advantage in this market. The second tip is to be prepared financially and it's different now. You used to be able to make an offer with a pre-approval letter, and as soon as your letter was verified by the listing agent, you were good to go. Now, there are many stipulations that are being built in to offers that gap appraisals and also gap competing offers. So one thing that you need to be prepared for is to have extra cash in the bank so that your offer can be competitive with an appraisal gap. What does an appraisal gap do? Well, it essentially says that should the property not appraise, you're willing and able to gap the difference. Many of the winning offers right now, we're seeing gaps that start at $10,000 in our market. So that means that you need to have an additional $10,000 in the bank ready to gap should the property not appraise. Now, if the property does appraise, that's great. You can keep that cash in the bank and you can use it for all the wonderful things that you wanna do with your home. The third tip that I have is escalation. Lots of houses are getting anywhere from five to 50 offers. So one of the things that you can do with your offer is you can escalate. And what this means is that you have a stipulation in your offer that says that if there's another competing offer that is higher than yours, you'll escalate your offer to match and then go over that offer by a certain amount of money. Escalation clauses have been one of the biggest ways that I've been able to win offers for my clients over the past 12 months. Fourth tip I have for you is be flexible. Very often when we write our offers, I talk with my buyers about closing date. And the more flexible that you can be, the easier that you can make it on the seller, the more they're going to want to work with you. In addition to that, as is offers are becoming very common, be sure to be flexible about repairs. If you send an offer and it's not as is, you're going to find that you're competing with lots of other buyers who are submitting as is. So it's great to do a real thorough showing. Feel free to bring an inspector with you when you go look at the house, because if you can go in with an as is offer with a very short or no due diligence, it's definitely gonna give you an advantage in this market. So I hope that my four top tips are helpful to you. I've got lots more. I have a whole variety of things that I talk with my clients about, and some of them are a little bit more aggressive than others. However, having an agent work with you that is experienced and has great relationships with other agents in the local market, being prepared financially, using the appropriate stipulations and clauses in your contract and being very flexible. Those are the four things that are absolute must right now in this market. If you'd like more information or I can answer any questions about how to be competitive when you're buying a home, whether you're local to Columbia, South Carolina or in another state, I'd be happy to help you. You'll find my information below.